John. All right. A Jessamville man is facing charges tonight after authorities say he drove drunk through a Utica neighborhood, taking out mailboxes and slamming into fences, homes, and even an electrical transformer. WLKY's Christina Moore has more. According to police, the suspect in this case had been drinking Saturday night. He went on a rampage with his pickup truck inside of a Utica neighborhood. And we're learning today that one of the men who lived at one of the homes that he hit is no stranger to him. When we got back from Thunder, it was about quarter till 12, and we saw a bunch of yellow flashing lights. Paulette Oaks went to bed Saturday, not knowing yet what happened inside her neighborhood that night. But now in the daylight, it's clear many of her neighbors are cleaning up. I mean, I couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe that I. Evidently, he drove his car through the garage. Police say this man, Gerald Power, drove a blue pickup truck into several mailboxes, a transformer, and a chain link fence. He slammed into two homes. The first one belongs to Utica's police commissioner, Steve Long. Long told officers he recognized Power. Yeah, he reported that a week ago that Mr. Power arrived at his uh, residence and they had a verbal altercation with uh, about some. Way funds were being spent inside the town of Utica. The only thing that I heard was someone was mad at Steve and wanted to kind of, I think, possibly get in and, and hurt the Corvette since he, I mean, that's his pride and joy. Detective Maples estimates the total damage to be around $40,000. And according to the police report, Powers smelled of alcohol that night and couldn't answer simple questions when officers found him at that second home. The incident that has happened here is just appalling. I mean, I can't imagine anyone wanting to do anything like this. Power is now here in jail facing several charges, including burglary and criminal recklessness. At the Clark County Jail, Christina Mora, WLKY News. And Gerald Power was taken to the hospital after officers found him. Police say he refused a blood alcohol test and became uncooperative and aggressive with security and medical staff. That's when he was medically released and taken into custody.